Hey guys, this is Kenny the Messy Soper and Royal Appleberry, and today we are doing something a little bit different. Um, I know you guys see like bath bombs everywhere, people making bath bombs on videos, you find them in Lush, and I mean everywhere you look you can find bath bombs. I do make bath bombs. I started out with making bath bomb cupcakes um, with melt and pour frosting. So I do know how to make them even though you guys never see me make them and I don't usually have them in my shop. But around the holidays I will make them. So the holidays are coming. Uh, this is November. So I'm going to make some for craft fair and just some to put in my shop just for the holidays. And I decided since I'm going to make them I may as well show you how I do it. Okay. Um, this is not a tutorial, it's just showing you how I make my bath bombs and um, which, what I use in my bath bombs. You can use whatever you want. There are tons and tons of recipes on the internet of uh, different types of bath bombs you can make. It all really depends on what you want. That's why I won't give you a recipe um, just because it just depends on what type of bath bomb you want. You can make a moisturizing one, a fizzing one, uh, a foaming one. It's just the possibilities are endless. So what I am going to use is my citric acid. Um, I get my citric <laughs> okay. I get my citric acid from um, a Middle Eastern market um, in Michigan, especially in the area that I live. Uh, it is so so um, um, diverse and culturally diverse here. So you have uh, Indian grocery stores, Middle Eastern grocery stores, Polish grocery stores. Uh, Asian markets just all kinds so venture in there if you have them in your area because you'll be pleasantly surprised what you can find and they have great food they have great prices so I always get my citric acid they come in uh, one pound containers and I just like to take them all and put them in one bag just to make convenient for me so I just went and bought this uh, this cost me what did this cost me 12 bucks yeah 12 bucks <clears throat> and this is what is this 16 pounds yeah 16 pounds so um, um let's say about 14 pounds yeah because some were a little bit less than a pound and then i have some sls or um slsa or sodium laurel sulfur acetate which is here you can get this online i do not know of a place that sells it in my area so i have this here i ordered that from the chemistry store if you want to Go get yourself some. Um, I also have some kale and clay. I have some olive oil. I have some oh, <laughs> that's huge baking soda. And I'm going to put a few more additives in it. Of course, I mean, you don't have to fragrance them. I'm going to put fragrance in mine. Um, you use the olive oil or any kind of oil that you want to use. It doesn't have to be olive oil. Some people like, like to use butters. I have used butters before. Um, an oil just kind of makes it hold together a little bit uh, more firm, firmer. And some people use alcohol uh, to bind their mixture as well. I've never done that, but I am going to try it this time. And the reason for it is not a whole lot. Uh, some people use witch hazel, some people use alcohol, some use water. And during my research, and the reason I'm going to try it this time, I found that using 90% or I guess any alcohol, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to use 70% isopropyl alcohol. Uh, it doesn't cause your, your mixture to foam when you spray it, so you can make it hold together. So that's what I'm going to use to see how that works. You can use water. Whatever you choose to use, like I say, it's up to you. Also, I'm going to use some colorants. Um, I No, I'm not using colorants in this batch. Um, yes, I am. <laughs> I had to think about that. <laughs> I'm going to use colorants in this batch. Uh, I just have these little baggies here, which actually belong to my mom. But I am. it's going to be a white bath bomb. And I'm going to use some, um, I think like sprinkles, sugar sprinkles, uh, like cake decoration sprinkles. I'm really not decided. I have this little mold because I'm going to put like a little color um, piece on the inside. So when it starts to spin and break apart, you'll have color come out. Um, you need a bowl, of course, or a few bowls, depending on if you're mixing multiple colors. Uh, you do need, I would suggest that you wear safety glasses. Just because SLSA, 
uh, has a tendency of it's very very fine and also you're going to need a mask because by it being very fine it will get into your nose and throat and it does irritate most definitely so I would suggest that you get one of those because I've done it before without and it's not a good feeling and then you need your your molds which are pretty much um, the Christmas ornament little uh, balls you can get these at Michaels or any craft store for a couple of pennies I have tons of these things all right guys so let me get everything uh, prepped and then I'll be back okay guys I'm back um, if I sound a little muffled it's because I do have my mask on because I have put my SLSA in here and this stuff is just like airborne like crazy um, the actual viewfinder on my clean that up sorry about the noise guys but yeah the viewfinder on my camera was like coated i also forgot to mention that i am putting uh cornstarch in my bath bombs i know like some people think that or feel that you know it can give women issues you know if you know what i mean um yeast infections and there's really been from the research that i've been doing sorry for the heavy breathing i can't you know what matter of fact whew, I cannot stand that mask on my nose, <laughs> but um, I use them all the time. It, that I've never gotten anything from it. Hunter has never gotten anything from it. I've never had complaints from customers, um, and there's nothing really linking saying that it can give you uh, a yeast infection. I know that Lush uh, uses it in theirs too, and that was one of the uh, questions that I had when I first found Lush and I started buying bath bombs from them. Would it give you a yeast infection or anything of that sort? And the answer was no, and I've never had a problem with it. So I have no problem using it. It's a personal preference. It all depends on what you want to do, okay? So, um, I have uh, my kale and clay, my baking soda, my SLSA, my cornstarch, and uh, I put a little bit of goat milk powder in here. So I'll mix that in a second. And then with my citric acid, because citric acid can be a little bit on the lumpy side. So what I like to do, and a lot of people like to wear gloves when they're uh, doing their bath bombs. I don't. Um, just make sure your hands are clean. Uh, the reason why is because A, I can't. I can't really feel, you know, I know this sounds crazy, but I can't really get a real sense of how it feels, especially when you're trying to see if it's firm enough. Um, and then two, when I wear gloves, if I am doing this, like what I like to do is sit and break up my lumps, just kind of give them a little squeeze and they'll break up. If you keep doing that so much, it'll actually uh, tear a hole in your glove. So I don't wear gloves. Just make sure that your hands are clean and you don't have cuts or scrapes or anything like that. Just because A, that's unsanitary. And B, you don't want to... Whew, I'm going to put my mask back on in a minute. You don't want to um, get it in your cuts. So I like to just uh, sit here and kind of break up all my lumps. Make sure everything is nice and firm. I mean, nice and firm. <laughs> nice and <laughs> lump free. Okay, I'm going to put my mask back on. And some people, this stuff doesn't affect, but me, whoop, it can get in your throat, guys. And it's not a good feeling. And then we'll start to mix this mixture. And I, you're probably wondering, why do I have these separated? Uh, I have these separated just because, um, for me, I don't, like I said, I'm not a... Let me think. I normally separate them because I use separate colors. And I like to get my color in here first and then add my citric acid because I can wet this mixture and it won't fizz. But I am going to use alcohol this time. So I shouldn't um, have any issues with the fizzing if I add my citric acid. And two, again, I'm only using um, one color. I am going to put a pop of color in the middle. Just so when it breaks open, it'll be a nice surprise in there. So, I'm going to, I was going to uh, take some of this batch and make my uh, little pop of color. But, I think that, um, I'm just going to use a separate batch. Okay guys, so I'm okay. back. So, I was going to use a mica, but I decided I wanted red and I don't have a true red mica plus. Um, I didn't really want to use the mica for that. So, um, I am using soap colorant and liquid and this is red. So I just put two drops in here and I'm going to need a little bit more. So I do have my uh, baking soda and my citric acid uh, mixed in here. So I'll let you see what's going to happen when I put this one small drop. You see it starts to fizz, okay? But um, that's okay if that little bit fizz is there. You just go ahead and mix it up. You keep mixing. Until... Back. 
Um, I guess I can take that mask off now. But um, what I have done here is just mixed in my red. And you have to add as, you know, keep adding as you go, depending on the color that you want it. So this is like a pinkish, more on a pinkish tone of red. I didn't want it too, too red. It'll just be a nice color, you know, to come out of the bath bomb once it starts to uh, fizz and spin and all that fun stuff. So I have this mixed in and I already put one. This is uh, equal parts of citric acid and uh, baking soda. And I put one tablespoon, no, one teaspoon of olive oil in here. And let me see. As you can see, it already can hold the shape, but of course, it's like far too soft because I haven't added any more moisture to it. So I'm going to try with the um, alcohol and see how that works. And I really think that I need to put something on this table because this is going to get like uber messy. I mean, yeah, I know it's going to make a mess, but I don't want to have to clean up that much later. So I'm going to put a piece of cellophane under here. Once I started to put it in my mold. And now, these are going to be scented with, uh, uh, what is I'm doing this with? My peppermint cupcake. Let me, of course I should have this, guys, but then again, you all know me. Okay, my candy cane cupcake, that's what it's called. Peppermint cupcake. <laughs> okay, so, and I think you should really just... Just put, add your fragrance a little bit at a time just to see, you know, how much you're going to need and what it's going to smell like and how it's going to work for you. So, oh, that's, oh, that smells so good. So, this is not even a full uh, cap full of fragrance. And I think that, um, that just might work. Oh, that smells delightful, guys. Absolutely delightful. So, yeah, just add a little bit more. You know, I'll just put the whole thing in there. There we go. Okay, so now that I got that done, I think that's pretty much good. And I'm going to go ahead and start spritzing this with the alcohol and see what happens. Because I need to get it Oh, perfect. No fizzing at all. Just as it said it would not be. So you keep spritzing it. Well, this is how I do it. I keep spritzing. And then just kind of, you know, give it a squeeze in your hand to see if it'll hold. That's still too soft. So I'm going to keep working on this. Okay, I think that might be... That's pretty good. Okay, because you see that I can like rub it. And it's not, you know, breaking apart immediately. So, yeah, I think we're ready to go ahead and toss that in the mold. Yeah, I just kind of want to get this extra red off the sides. Alright, so now. I'm going to get the excess off my hands. Okay, so I want to grab my mold. And really, I'm just going to take this and pack it in. Just keep packing it in. Just like that. Can you guys see? Yeah, you can see that. It's kind of like sand. It really is. It has a consistency of sand. And then as you're kind of spreading it around, just keep packing it. Get those corners. Make sure those get enough in there. Yep, so now I'm going to just go ahead and start mashing it down in there because you want them to be as compact as possible. That's what's going to make them nice and firm. Because if you don't pack it enough, then they will fall apart. If you pack it too much, I don't really even think there's... I mean, you want to have a little bit of um, airiness to them. But I don't really think there's a such thing as packing them too much. I mean, I think maybe it'll 
take them a little bit longer to dry out but I've never had a problem with it so I like to give mine a good old-fashioned packing okay move that over I'm glad I did use the cellophane just because it just makes life so much easier so I'll put that back over there so you guys can see and these are not going to stay in the mold very long I'm going to let them sit in there for maybe a couple of minutes and then I'm going to pop them out because they're getting hard already, oddly enough. But they are getting nice and hard already. Yep, Mike. And you want to take your thumbs. If you have a mole like this, then just kind of take your thumbs. I got this from Meyer, And um, I think it was on sale for a dollar or something like that. And push it down. That way you can make sure all your cavities are nice and full. Alright guys, I'm back. So I've unloaded my little cubes and here they are. Um, they've been sitting probably two or three minutes. And uh, they came out the, the mold very nicely and clean. With no residue or anything. So, I do like the alcohol. It just makes life grand. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, did I even finish? <laughs> yeah, I did finish breaking up the lumps of my citric acid. So I'm going to go ahead and pour my citric acid in my baking soda mix over here. And these are going to stay natural color. I'm not going to add any color to these. Turn this down. So, do that. And I think <laughs> these just might be the very last bath bombs that I make on film just because blue. Probably, I don't know, because my, my camera is like super dusty. And I'm sure that can't be very good for your camera. <laughs> So, um, oh well, we'll see. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and mix that together. Get that all mixed in. And once you start to spray it and all that fun stuff, it, uh, it's less airborne. But this is craziness. And please, 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 when you're dealing with uh, SLSA, please do wear a mask. I'm telling you, that stuff will get you. Um, I cannot hold you, sir. I'm busy. I don't know what's been wrong with my boy cat. He has just been like super duper clingy the past week. I can't get anything done without him wanting me to hold him. It is driving me crazy. I love him, but mama got things to do. Alright, so, like I said, I'm not adding any, uh, whew, I'm not adding any color in here. So I'm going to go ahead and add my olive oil. And I'm going to add four teaspoons of olive oil. And I'm not going to pour it all in the same spot. Uh, I put a little bit too much there. But that's fine. I'm just going to kind of mix it. And then pour a little bit at a time. And I may not even use the full four teaspoons. You just got to kind of fill your way around and see what it needs. So go ahead and pour that first one in there. And then go ahead and mix. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, now that I have put my oil in, um, it's not flying all over the place anymore in my fragrance. So I'm super happy about that because that was just a bit annoying. So I've added some um, glitter, which is glitter is very, very fine. And it looks like a lot in the middle, but actually once I start to mix it, it's not going to be a lot at all. I'm just going ahead and get my last dregs of my fragrance oil out of there. And I think it was because normally I don't have like this problem with... Um, just the, the air you know it being airborne like that but I think it's just because I'm making such a big batch that's for that's the reason for but um it smells really really good and I actually had to take it outside because it was just getting ridiculous my arms were like coated white and it was flying everywhere and I mean it's fine but my soaping room is very small and I just didn't want to have to deal with the aftermath of all the the dust so um, see, as you can see, you can't even see, uh, the glitter. Uh, it's, like I said, it's very fine. You can see it, um, you can see it up close, but when it's in this big, big batch, you really can't see it. So I'm going to move this camera up just because I know I'm going to keep being out of focus. There we go. 
and then um now even i sprayed it a little bit with alcohol and it is still you know holding form but it just it, it does need a little bit more but i'm going to go ahead and uh no i'm going to do that last so i'm going to go ahead and keep spraying it until i get it to well if i can find my alcohol i would do that <laughs> what did i do with it what did i do with my alcohol that's craziness um well guys cats are hilarious they were in the backyard and now one sitting in the chair looking at me because <laughs> i have my window up oh i tell you he just won't leave me alone i have like a mini stalker <laughs> hunter calls him stalker all the time because he'll sit in a corner and just like you can see one of his eyes and half of his head and he'll just stare at me for hours <laughs> <laughs> but that's mommy's baby <laughs> but he's been driving me nuts so he's not yowling so i think he's fine maybe he just wants to sit and watch me make soap or bath bomb should i say all right so let's see still not quite so i'm gonna give this a good deuce good old-fashioned deuce and i think because of my um cornstarch that's why it's like so very very fine and so soft so and then this is a much bigger batch than um my little embeds so this is a lot of mixing y'all okay guys i'm back finally Woo! all right so what i'm gonna do is take i did add some of these little uh colored sugar into my soaps and uh, i'm just gonna put a little bit in here first because this is going to be my top and then I'm just going to kind of mash it around I do believe my mixture is ready because if I squeeze it it is pretty firm so now I'm going to go ahead and take one of these and stick it right in there and then put the rest over the top of it and at my other side just fill that up and just kind of give it a little squeeze down just like that <clears throat> just like that guys okay that one's like a little bit crooked <laughs> so i'm going to probably fast forward through the rest just because i know you guys don't want to see me do this over and over again so like those little parts right there from the holes in the top of my mold i just kind of rub them off okay and then just make sure it's packed down nice and firm so it doesn't break apart and then um like here if you have like little gaps you can just go back and kind of fill that in just like that okay all right and then go around it get your excess off just make sure you give it a nice push down pack it as much as you can get in there and then squeeze it okay so there we go and there you have it your bath bomb ta-da and so i'll sit these off to the side so they can dry now let me just make sure you know sometimes you may have to re-wet your mixture just to make sure you know everything's going to stay nice and hard and get hard for you so as I'm going through every now and then I'll spray it you'll see me spray just because I want to especially since I'm using alcohol it evaporates really fast so I want to make sure that my mixture stays nice and moist so, so I think this time I'm going to put it in this one without the holes not too much just a little bit there okay take your hand mash that in there grab another one. Oh gosh I'm not even looking at the camera I should probably move the camera up instead of leaning forward because it's hurting my back. Okay, fill it up. Have your other side. Fill that side up. Mash it together. Just like that. All right. And then open it. If your bath bomb falls apart, then that means it is not wet enough okay uh oh my kid is calling me and when i say my kid i mean my boy cat <laughs> all right and i like to just kind of clean it up a little bit before i sit it off to the side all right guys let me go let him in and then i will fast forward the rest of this okay be back in a minute
So uh, now that I'm down to the last bit of my uh, batter, I got two, four, six, eight bath bombs out of that. And normally when I get to this point where I don't have very much left, I can improvise by either um, adding some more mixture, but I don't want to do that. So um, this will probably just be one that I keep for myself or like as a tester. I might get a full one out of this. I don't think so. It's going to be very, very light. Uh, well, smaller. So we'll see. I'm going to pack it up. I do think I can get a full one out of here. I'm going to pack it up as much as I can. Oh, I think I just yeah, took a chunk out of my bath while I'm sitting over there. <laughs> so. I sure did. So I have to redo that one just because I want to be sure that it doesn't um, fall apart. I brushed it with my bowl. Yeah, I'll get a full one out of here. So, just mash those together. Oh yeah, definitely. And then this little bit, of course, I can just stick that in a mold and you know, use it. Um, now this one could actually use a little bit more, yep, most definitely. So what I'm going to do is take what's left here and give it a little spritz. Just make sure it's nice and moist. And I'm about to make a huge mess, but I'm going to go ahead and pour that in my mold. I'll clean up how I already have a mess, so no big deal here. <laughs> Yep, that gave me one full bath bomb. Awesome sauce. Alright, so. Set that somewhere. And then, actually, I need to bring that bowl back because this is about to become a big old mess when I close this. Okay, yep, so that should do it. Just give her a smash down. I'm thinking about getting, well, no, probably not. I was thinking about getting the metal uh, bath ball makers, but molds, but I don't make them enough to actually need them. So just because they're probably much easier to deal with. All right. So there's my last one. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> did I forget? Yeah, I did forget to put my little um, uh, sugar in the, on the top. So you can still do it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, bath ball making video. Like I said, it is not a tutorial. It's just showing you guys how I do it. I thought I'd just share with you because I had to make them anyway. So, I just decided to film it. And give it another squash down. <sighs> I just can't believe how great this weather is, guys. It's been amazing. And I'm squeezing this really hard. And if I hope that I'm, I've am i been in camera, like in view of the camera the entire time, that one is actually being a turd. Probably because it's just not as much um, mixture. So I may have to work on this one, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to work on that one. Actually, I'll just take this and pour it. Yes, I'm making a humongous mess. <laughs> Uh, oh well. Let's smash that back down because it's just not. It keeps getting cracks in it. It could just be too dry. And that just might be the case. And if it is, I'll just redo it. But I think, yeah, it's just too dry. But anyway, so I'll get to that later. So I am done with my bath bombs. And I'll bring it over. Let you guys see what I have. And I do have a lot of the little embeds for the middle still left. I should probably clean that up first. <laughs> so setting that on top of there is going to make an even bigger mess. Alright, so here they are. Those are my bath bombs. Hope you guys like them. Hope you can see them. There we go. And um, these will be ready by tomorrow, really. Mine don't take long to dry out. And I think that the alcohol is really going to help. So they're actually getting pretty hard now. So awesome sauce. Alright guys, so that's it. If you do like this video, please do give a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. And then you can come back and see all the fun stuff that I do on my channel. Uh, soap making, bath bomb, whatever it may be. Um, 
but please do subscribe i would love to have you come back over and over again so guys i'm gonna go ahead and clean up this mess that i got going on over here well first fix this one uh rogue bath bomb there's always one bad one out the bunch and then clean up this mess and get some videos uploaded for you all to watch so until then guys love kissing the hugs and be awesome in everything that you do and until next time i'll see you later